Welcome to the video everybody. Me and Mason are in the van and uh, today we have our own little day to do whatever we want. It's a Japanese holiday. Uh, a lot of people are off so Mason goes to school off base so his school was closed today. So I took the day off work and me and him are going to go hang out do some fun stuff. But one thing we need to do that I figure would be kind of interesting to video is to go to an auto box. I've taken you guys to an auto box in a video a long time ago, like a year and a half ago maybe. And um, I mean that was 20,000 subscribers ago. So we're going to go take another look at auto box. It's a different one as well. So I've never been to this one. Hopefully there's some pretty cool stuff in there. But what we're looking for is a little adapter piece to plug in the new headlights I got. I'm going to save that video for later for the actual headlight install and showing you guys how cool these new headlights I got are but let me just show you the plug-in I'm talking about. This right here is the plug-in I'm talking about. There's nothing in my car or Megan's car or the van that resembles anything that this would plug into. So I looked on YouTube and just kind of did a little Google searching and I think there's an adapter piece we can buy that'll plug into the traditional style headlight plug and then this can go into that. Let's get on the road and make our way to Autobach. You ready? Yeah. We have arrived. Mason and I have made it to Autobach. He's gonna take the stairs. The bays where they work on the cars. Take a look at some of the tires and wheels. You gonna go look at the wheels? Keep in mind when looking at prices, pretty much just take off the last two numbers and that's about what it is in dollars. It's around $300. Lots of wheels. What you see? You like the blue center? Yeah. Nothing out here that really interests me though. None of these wheels look very appealing. There are a few more wheels out here. Some SSRs for around $1,500. Wed Sport. Let's go down this way. Some oil. 5W30. That's a decent price. 35 bucks. Plenty of windshield wipers. Floor mats. Kid seats. Those look pretty cool. No Recaros like we have, but they look cool. You need a set of curtains for your car, you can pick some up here. I love that. I love that that's a thing here in Japan. Definitely gonna have curtains on a car at some point. Steering wheel covers. What do you have to show me? Soft. Whoa. Feel it. That's really soft. I guess it's a pillow for you to sit on in the car. Yeah. Butt pads. It's a butt pad. Yeah. This, it's a butt pad. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. You sit on it, so it's a butt pad. No, this is. So is the soft one. It's a soft butt pad. What's that car? Yes, it is. Good job. This is pretty interesting. It's kind of like canards, I guess. Carbon fiber canards. Molding. Color molding to go around. License plate dress up nuts. 
titanium, carbon fiber, blue, everything light up, heart shaped, diamond appearance. License plate frames. Okay, take a sit on that chair. I see how soft it is. It's, it's a lot of soft, too. It's no Recaro, but it's nice looking. Yeah. Be nice in the van. And, and, this, and this is a big one. Yeah. What we have here is more seat covers. What does this Bros. Clazio. Some of the horns. These are the kind that are on the GTR, I think, but they're red. Looks like we can test them out. That was kind of loud. Yeah. <laughs> Getting into the LEDs over here a little bit. I don't think this is going to be the section I want yet for what I'm looking for. Some little exhaust tips. It's one of those little LED things like the FRS has. Or the BRZ, I guess. LED night signal. So it's kind of like an alarm system, like a fake alarm system, maybe? Not exactly sure on that. Shift knob section. Look at this one. Neochrome. Ah. Don't drop it. Hey, I think we can buy this. I don't think we need it. Carbon fiber, diamond, Mickey Mouse hand shift knob. Let's see. Does that Mickey Mouse one interest you? Yeah. You want to hold it? Big long shift knobs, ones with the bubbles, carbon fiber leather. I kind of like these style. Razo, I've heard that brand before. I think I've seen that other places other than just these auto box. I, I didn't know to have that shift knobs. They also have pedals, like a gas pedal and a brake pedal. Oh. I can look on shift knobs. Hold on. Different assortments of pedals. Door mirror visors, that's kind of cool. It goes right over your mirror, side view mirrors, carbon fiber. Wiper bolt, stuff that covers up the rear window wiper. Another kind of cool thing are these little uh, plaques or whatever you would call them, stickers. Uh, you actually have to have this for JCI to show where your gears are. I don't, I don't really understand it, but something you have to have. HKS filter. I don't know. Carbon fiber wrap. Lots of wrap stuff. Let's try to touch on every aisle in here, even if it's not too interesting. This actually has some electrical stuff too. It might be what I'm looking for. I'll have to take a look. Some cleaning supplies, touch up paint. I really like that they have the GTR's color code. At least at the other one I was at, they did. I'm not gonna sit here and, oh, actually, there it is right there, 326. Some more paint. I don't see the connector I'm looking for over here. This looks more like for uh, interior stuff, kind of. We'll take a closer look over by the LEDs. On to the next aisle. More cleaning supplies. We won't spend much time on that. Brrr, angry RX-8. What you see? A vacuum. A vacuum for the car. Yep. Nice wash buckets. More angry RX-8 type looking cars. Eight six sponges just for your eight six. It's a squeegee. Yep, helps get all the water off your car. 
JDM mirrors. I hear people call these big mirrors JDM mirrors all the time. Which I guess I could see that since I've only seen these giant things in Japan. More sponges. Carbon fiber. What's over here? Cup holders, which the GTR lacks. There's a guy on island making custom 3D printed cup holders that I need to probably get. Yep. Carbon fiber, everything. <sighs> More accessories like tissue boxes. A whole wall of tissue boxes for your car. Uh, looks like ashtrays. Little bears that go on your seat belts. Clocks, which the GTR lacks a working clock. That's another big thing on the R32s are clocks. Their clocks almost never work. You're lucky if you have one with a working clock. Mason really likes the compass thing, so get that for him, put it on his car seat. Kind of cool because it is in Japanese. On to the next aisle. Air freshener aisle. You like the air freshener aisle. He'll be sniffing every one of them. The apple. It smells kind of good. I cannot smell it. I just found a green one. Lots of air fresheners, that is a big thing in Japan. Here, come sniff the ones that are over here that are on your level so you don't have to pick them up. Air fresheners are a very big thing here in Japan. Tons of them. Designer cologne. A lot of them smell pretty good. Don't pick them all up. If you can just get down to them, just get down to them. You don't have to pick them up because some of them are glass. Looks like some Starbucks knockoff. Espresso. The Starbucks knockoffs smell pretty good. Maybe we should get an air freshener for the van. The van does kind of stink. Yeah, we should, we should get this one. Oh wow, some of you guys are gonna like this air freshener. R2-D2. Uh, let's get a air freshener. Oh, let's just That's really so cool. Good. I think I might need to get one of those. Look at smell this, Dada. Smell it. Smells pretty good. We should get this one. It smells kind of girly, though. We can get this one. We're going to find one to get, but not that one. Weird. I don't like that one. Let's keep looking around and then we'll come back and get an air freshener before we leave. Fans for your car. Just so many accessories here for your car. Phone holders. What do we have over here? Uh, cigarette lighters. Well, it plugs into your cigarette lighter and gives you more options. Holy cow. <laughs> that is so many. All right, so we are starting to get into some more LEDs. LED strips. Oh man, that would be kind of cool to line the top of the van with LED strips. Unfortunately, we're gonna be getting rid of the van semi soon. Talk more about that in another video, but one day I'm gonna have a van or something with some LEDs all over it. Star Wars. Uh, I guess it just plugs into the cigarette lighter and is just a decoration for the car. Interesting. Nice to look at the eyes because, as you guys know, he loves the movie Cars. Lots of sun visors, sun protectors, whatever you want to call them. 
Here's some more light bulbs. Oh, here's the section we need. Look. The lights. Oh, thanks for finding the section for me. All right, so two things I want to look for while we're over here is the connector piece and a light to go in place of the the running lights on the GTR. I would like to find a cool yellow bulb for that. Lots of buttons to press. I know he's about to be all over that. Hey, can I have this bucket? Go ahead. Holy cow, that's kind of the yellow I'm looking for though. So, so far I did find some nice yellow H3 bulbs that'll go in with the headlights. Now I'm just looking for that connector piece. And he's still pressing lights. So here's something similar to what I have. Super bright LED headlights. But I just need a connector piece because it just doesn't fit the GTR exactly right. The plug-in is just too small. But like I said, I got these for the uh, for the GTR to go along with the LEDs. Might just have to order a connector piece off of Amazon or something. TVs and radios and all that over here. Cameras, dash cams, backup cameras, everything. I'm not gonna spend any time on that. You guys know about all that kind of stuff. But Mason does want an air freshener, so go pick out your air freshener. All right, well, you don't get that one. You gotta get one in a box. Here, put that one back up here, and we'll get this one. Right here. The Starbucks knockoff. So we pretty much went through everything in here, I think. Pretty much covered everything. This one's not quite as big as the last one we went into. We'll have to keep checking them out, though, and seeing the differences between them. And I haven't been to a yellow hat either, so I think next time we're gonna go to a yellow hat, which is like another AutoZone type store. Mason is not enjoying the sound of the impact gun. We got what we came for. We're out of here now. Ooh. So Mason's back here sniffing the air freshener and holding it. I probably won't be able to ever get that up front so I can actually smell it better. But he loves it. Now I think we're going to head over to a playground. I'll probably put the camera down for that and not film too much just so I can play with him. And uh, I'll probably pick this back up here in just a little while after that. For you, it'll only be a few seconds. But uh, I'll pick you guys back up when we get back to the house or uh, if anything else interesting is happening. Not even five minutes out of auto box and we're already behind the police. Well, it's about 24 hours since I started this video. Uh, I didn't finish the video yesterday. We ended up hanging out at the playground and flying the drone around a little bit just for fun, not really videoing anything. And then we went and had dinner at a really nice restaurant that we hadn't been to before called Sam's by the Sea. If you're here in Okinawa, you should check that place out. It's a little expensive, but it is really, really good. But I did just want to come out here and wrap up this video. Uh, here's the lights I bought at the Autobach. They'll go right there in the high beams. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Everything seems to be going south working on these lights. They're a pain to get to and then bulb size is kind of annoying to figure out. And these are the LEDs that will be going on the headlights. Aux Beam LED Headlight Kit. Really awesome stuff. I've seen a lot of their videos on YouTube and I can't wait to get those on the car. I just gotta find that right connector piece because this right here is the headlight that's currently on there. And this plug-in that's down here just isn't small enough for the plug-in that's on the back of that aux beam kit. So I'm gonna look on Amazon and a couple other places, maybe stop by a yellow hat out here, which is the other place I was talking about, and see if I can find that connector so I can get these headlights installed and show you guys the final product. I'm ready to see how much they really brighten up the night because uh, the GTR headlights aren't the brightest. I mean, it's a 25 year old car. Um, what else do I have to update you guys with? Shirts very soon. I decided I'm going to work with an old friend from back home in South Carolina. He has his own company, uh, Function and Spokes. Check out their website and everything. He's got some pretty cool shirts and designs that he does in his own clothing brand. And he offered me a pretty good deal to go through him and have the shirts made through him. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully they'll be ready soon. Hopefully I can get that going and start sending you guys some merchandise. Uh, also, Cars for Sale in Japan Part 7 maybe? 
I found a couple other car dealers I want to video at. I'm going to go try and do that either later today or tomorrow. So be on the lookout for the next Cars for Sale in Japan video soon. Thank you guys so much for joining me with our little trip to Autobach. It was nothing too crazy, but it's kind of a cool thing to see how AutoZone kind of differs here in Japan, what it's sort of like an AutoZone in an Autobach or Yellow Hat. So I hope you guys did enjoy that. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to hang out with the family. It is Saturday. I'm trying to do something fun today. And definitely try to get to videoing the next Cars for Sale in Japan video. I will see you guys in the next one. As always, thanks for watching.